Hello guys, welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, we want to review new rendering engine AI, which name is Rerender AI from the website rerenderai.com. So I'm going to show you how this AI works and it will be really help you in the exterior or interior or totally architecture projects. We have multiple parts in this website, which is start from the home side. You can watch different type of tutorials as the guideline. So I'm going to click on the render in here and you can create the fast render by this. It has two type of options. First one is the uh, single and second one is the multiple plus. You can render multiple images like the batch render in the uh, rendering engines like Enscape or Lumion or V-Ray. So we have enhance option in here, which helps you to create photorealistic rendering. We have stagging, which helps you to upload your photo, empty the room, stack the result, and some other things like that by the process. The edit option helps you to create multiple image editors in here. And we have a sketch option in here, which as you can see, you can do this work in here. And the AI will be generate something wonderful for you by the clicking on the render option. So I'm going to click on the uh, backside, re-render AI, home and i'm going to go to the uh, sketchup 2025 so this is the uh, 3d model which i created very simple and easy as you can see in here a simple maybe single family house or something like that and in the desktop i have this image in here which i downloaded from the internet so i want to use this image as the uh, mood board and reference and i want to render this model in the website so i'm going to click on the scene number one in here and I want to take one output as the image. This can be a JPG or PNG, it doesn't matter. It completely depends on you. So in the uh, desktop, I have this image in here, as you can see, very simple and easy, with the acceptable quality. So I'm gonna go to the uh, re-render AI website and I'm gonna click on the uh, render. Before I click on the render or start my process, we have the option in here, which name is mood board. I'm going to click on the mood board. I created two mood boards before, but I'm going to delete all of them like that. I'm going to click on the create mood board in here, upload image, and I'm going to select mood board number two. You can download these files below the link in this video. So I'm going to click on the open. The mood board will be uploading for us like that. So I'm going to come back to the render, fast render. I have the image in here. I'm going to click on it. So we have preset style, which helps you to select the type that you want, time of the day, season, sky, or even landscape like that, and even architecture materials. So it has three options, precise, balanced, and creative. I don't want to use them right now. I only want to test the mood board. And in the next tutorials, I'm going to teach all of them to you. So in here, I'm going to select mood board. The mood board which I uploaded at the previous time is here. So I'm going to click on it like that. My image selected for me and I'm going to click on the uh, render. It takes a bit of time and after that, re-render AI will be generate new rendering image for you. And I think it can be really wonderful because you completely uh, use less time to render and it's really fantastic for you, especially when you have a concept or basic idea. So as you can see, this is the uh, view of our new render. It has four options, four alternatives. For example, this is number one, this is number two, number three, and number four. I don't know, but I think number three can be really wonderful. I can maximize it in here. You can reference the render with the uh, original image in here with this scroll in here, as you can see. And I think it works very precise, much better than some other rendering AIs, I think, because the lines not change too much and everything is precise and I like it. So this is the final overview of our project, but the story not end here. You can upscale it, very simple. It will upscale for you, increase the resolution and quality. So all of them based on the internet, so you need to be have a stable network. So. Uh, when you click on the upscale, actually, I think the resolution, pixels, and other quality parameters of one image will be changed immediately. All right, let's see what will happen in here. 
Let's see what will happen. Okay, and I think it's over. Okay, I like this one more because the quality is really amazing. So I'm going to download this image in here. This image downloaded for me. I'm going to open the place of it. Hold it on the desktop. I'm going to rename it. Regender AI 201. Okay. I'm going to come back to the Regender AI. And now I want to create a video of the rendered image. So I'm going to click on the video in the left side, upload image, and I want to use my rendered image in here, and I'm going to upload it. So you have multiple type of camera movements. For example, fast track or slow track, this is the speed. But in here you can see we have nine alternatives, which I think really wonderful. Zoom in, zoom out, and when you hold your cursor on this part of the website, it will show you live and very good. So zoom out, fly through, rotate left, right, pan left, tilt up, tilt down. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use this slow mode and I'm going to click on the generate. Okay, guys, as you can see, the video generated for us like the a real rendering system. So I think it can be really fantastic for you if you have low config PC or laptops and you can't use I don't know the versions of the uh, rendering engines which you need to install on your PC or laptop. So this AI have multiple reasons for using. First one is it is really reliable. It is really precise and it is really fast, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.